Hello everyone, Praise Good here. Welcome back to more of Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. Last time, we have seen the might of Link in action in the Echoing Footsteps mission, and uh, we finally finished off one of those the side quests that I've been harping about having to finish. Now, with the world opened up, the world's view closing in a little bit, we might be able to achieve something a little bit more... Uh, it will be my honor. What do I want to say? A little more specialized, but I now realize where we're, what mission we're doing, and I have a fear that what I promised may not be, may not be come to fruition at this point, simply because that I promised that we would finally see what those great threats or those EX skulls are that keep popping up, but I feel like completing this daily drills Zor Zora mission is going to end up popping another cross the blank mission like uh happens every time we do a one of these missions whatever we'll see when we get, we'll see what happens when we get there i'm also looking at the map and i'm a little leery nothing in my in my helpful handy dandy guide is mentioning anything about uh Something. Oh, that's just where additional soldiers can spawn. Good to know. We're also almost at the point. We're actually getting. We're getting to the point now where Impa is almost at full, as I call it, Blentex status. Where I literally can just point her in the direction of an enemy, and uh, and just mash the attack button. Oh, I got all my. I got all my stuff. Point myself in the direction of an enemy and be done with it. Like, I don't even have to worry about moving in between attacks. It's going to be that interesting. Or that quick. Why is everybody running? Why are you running? What, are you just afraid? You're afraid of just a few little megaton bombs? I like how this one, you just have to capture the outpost. You don't have to do anything else. Okay, well, there we go. Well, yes, Zora, Zora troops. You must remember that you are com combatants. I actually already got my special back up. Man, this is taking a while to catch this outpost. Would you like to get here a little faster? Really? Parksman? Goddamn Dex nerds, fight me! Turn around. I feel like I'm attacking the wall. Kind of. I am so shook by that grunt, because that means, oh, I'm about to lose the mission. That, sh that grunt just has me so shook, because I'm so, like, it's so synonymous with, by the way, everybody that, everybody that, or everybody is, uh, sorry. Oh, hi, Mifa. That grunt is so synonymous with, by the way, you're about to lose your win condition. And so you need to take care of the problem. There we go. Got the rune. Sorry, Mifa. This is the way it has to be. Okay, I'm not super sorry, but this is the way it has to be. Oh, I dodged the attack. Okay, Mipha's dead. Okay, well, here's the new prompt for you, Zora Captain. There's many Impa and one of you. By the way, you're dead. Something, something, Omaiwa Moshineru, you're dead. Well, that was quick and painless, if I do say so myself. Okay, sorry, I'm looking at something like again. There's there's side quests that have Korok seeds in them, and I'm getting a little worried at some of them, because like I'm noticing some names. And I'm just like, ah, uh, wait, is that? But no, we're we're okay. We're fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Don't 
worry about you. Don't worry your little head one thing. Let me worry my little head. My head's not so little, but we roll with it. A vicious presence has fled. For another one to appear. Damn it. I knew it. Too good to be true. Okay. Well, I'm going to sweep the way I normally do. Nope, we're good here. So... You know, we haven't seen Urbosa in a while, and I feel like I'm going to make a mistake bringing Urbosa into this mission, but let's use Urbosa. Ooh, Star Fragment. Because... I say I worry about it because I haven't really... I've been focusing on Link and Impa. Like, you know, my number one, and I'll say my number three as time goes along in the game. Like, my number one and number three, I'm focusing on them because I want to use them the most so I can make this playthrough go as swiftly as possible. But, that will... You'll understand who my number... My numbers... My number four kind of changes depending upon the day, if that makes sense. My number four always changes, but my number two is like concrete who my number two is. And you will soon learn it of what it is. Oh, it's just the fort to capture. Okay, fair enough. I was waiting for like the uh, enemy. There we go. Okay, it just captured the forts quickly enough. Fair enough. Uh, Urbosa is kind of... It's not exactly lower level, but she is right at the point of the level for this for this mission where it'll it'll be a little bit of a struggle for her. So I maybe should have leveled her up just a little bit. Here we go. Let's take care of some enemies. Fry some enemies along the perimeter. There you are. Could you sh expose yourself? Whatever, I'll just do raw damage at this point. Alright, capture outpost, let's go. Let's roll. Yes, you're welcome for the assistance, but I must move fast because the other captains are going to be having problems if I don't. Now, I'm just barreling straight towards the captain question. Like... If I were to be, if I were to game dev, I would put more Korok seeds. I'd put it in that little alcove at the very top there. But I am not a game dev, so it is not my place to say what gets put where. Turn around. Oh, blue moblin, don't mind if I blow you up. And also every and everybody else within the five mile race that is this place. Anyway, I'll light you up. I'm not going to kill you, but I am going to destroy all of your help. Okay, whatever. Uh, dodging into the attacks. Again, I can only dodge into the attacks. I can never dodge around it. Anyway, did that do it? That helped. All right, moving onward. At a brisk pace, even. Go, Robosa, go. Go. Go, 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 Mike. My name's not Mike. Don't worry about it, Mike. And this is why I need to hurry up because it's struggling and I I would love to get some more some more uh, special gauge, but I don't think I have that luxury. I need to go. I just need to blow through these. Actually, I can do one of these. I can do one of these and just slide through the enemies. Get a little bit of special gauge built up on my way there. Hi, hello, do hey, don't die. Ow. Dying. Okay, you're, okay, you are ice, so I'm gonna do, I'm gonna commit a sin and actually use my, and actually use my rods. Even though I say never to use the rods, I'm gonna use the rods. Now everybody gather around me. I'm gonna hit you with a storm. You'd like to see what you've never seen. Come here. Okay, fine. We'll play the game this way. We'll play the game this way. And we'll double down even. 
I think this should be the end of the mission with that. You okay there, buddy? Yes. No, no permanent Dane damage. Actually, I could have avoided using that apple. I just realized. Oops. Well, that's on me. That mission actually went a lot faster than I thought I was going to go, considering I went in with a quote-unquote weaker character than I'm than I'm, I'm prepared for. Ooh, we see uh, tier two of Daruks. But yeah, star fragments. The old, these uh these particular drops are actually not very they're not very common. So they're they're kind of like the ethereal shards, but not as common oddly enough. And that but they are well they will be used for specific side quests. So if you ever do get a star fragment, do not sell it. Please don't sell it. I'm par I'm partially begging uh but well, I'm going to do things in the order in which they showed up. What? You know what? No. I'm going to the Molduga. I'm going to go fight the Molduga with our boy Lunk. I should actually fight it with Impa because she might be able to handle it. Actually, Impa might actually be able to handle this. Just give her a... Oh, I'm a, Oh, I'm out of... Never mind. I'm out of palm fruit. Okay. I thought it was going to... I thought it was going to be a problem... Because I thought the issue was going to be I was out of, uh, excuse me. I thought the issue was going to be I was out of salt. It's like, bad, I haven't bought salt in a while and I'm already having problems with damage up items. This bodes ill for like 20 videos from now. But it turns out I'm just incredibly stupid and can't read. And also lacking the coconut. Anyway, I want to control the guardian. Lead the way, Guardian. Okay, Guardian's only in the way. But yeah, I wanted to pick Ampa just because it's such a huge target. Move away. And Ampa's perfect because her bomb goes in the air. Oh, I messed up. And big target gets a big beating. Ampa, just go ahead and shred through the Molduga. If you would be so kind. Does the Molduga get to play? I don't think the Molduga gets to play, actually. Anyway, do that. There we go. And... Ooh, you get even one of these on it? Fantastic. Go, Impa, go! Beat up the giant sand crocodile. Be nice to your giant sand crocodiles. I'm sorry, Molduga. You don't get to play the game. Wow, that texture is actually a little... Ugh, help that texture. I don't think we were supposed to see its sand cover form under... Above ground. Listen, there's things that game devs don't expect you to ever see in their games, and that was definitely one of them. Anyway, proceed to bury yourself so I can blow you up again. And see that disgusting texture once again. <laughs> oh, I feel so bad. Okay, that should be everything we need. Yep. Now, somebody can actually tell me if there's like a tier list for for uh, characters in Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. I feel like Impa's got to be near the top of that list just because she can do stuff like this. Like, even though she has a lot of quick cuts and attacks seem like they're widespread, I feel like she can just kind of steamroll a lot of missions because she can attack so fast and build up her special gauge so quickly. Well, I mean... Impa, why are you... P She's taunting the Molduga. She just got done killing. No mercy. Well, anyway... Yeah, we want some Molduga parts from this. Getting Molduga parts, very beneficial to us. Now, I am kind of uh, trying to blitz through because I'm going to see if it's possible for us to see one of those EX missions here before I have to inevitably move on to something else. But I don't know if we'll have that opportunity. Let me see what we got here. Mountain Rescue. And 
We're going this far. Let's... Show us what you're made. Again, my number one, number two. So, but yeah, unfortunately, I don't... I hate to say it, but I don't think we're going to have time to see what those EX mission skulls are. Ah! Again, I don't want to make this... I don't want to make those EXs like a... I don't make them like the entire focal point of a, of a video. I want it to be like, hey, here's an example of what these missions can look like. Here's me doing the mission. And now that the video is over, go off, be free, do what you want with this information. I want, that's what I want to do with it. But if I can't, and I don't want to go much over my, my self, my self inflicted 20 minute time schedule. Yeah. Like it's self, like I said, it's self inflicted. Wait, did I not? Yeah, I didn't tag somebody. There we go. Okay, I think Link is actually passively making his way to the next victim. Okay, I'm just gonna pop this to hopefully defeat you. Because I think this one actually has a pretty strict time frame to, for completion, if I remember correctly. Okay. And then if I go in here. Hi, how's it going? Gate is open. Acquired person. Okay, so we rescued one. That's good. Now hopefully Impel will move on to the next target. Don't hit me. Let me hit you. Wow, that actually... I didn't plan for it to go like that, but it went like that. It do go down like that. It don't go down. It do go down. <laughs> oh my gosh, the timing is perfect. There we go. That should be enough. My voice cracked. Alright. Waiting for that. Okay, that little ticker went off. So, if that's the case, Link, go to Zora Captain. Impa, come here. We're gonna go take care of the next one. Yeah, I want to say, like, the time, like, it's actually very uh, strict on the time limit, so, or maybe I'm just, maybe I'm just being weird. Come here. Fitting that I saved the Rito Captain for last. Nah, bombs. It's bombing time. It is the bombing hour, as they, as we say. Hey, we can see the frog. I was waiting for that to show up. Oh, Link's already there. You know, the outfit I've given for Link, actually, he looks really toasty, oddly enough. I like how I'm just holding forward into the enemy and it can't hit me. That was actually really close. But this is actually also another thing with using Link is like he can because of this combo and frost taluses, I can actually break their arms really easily. And because I break their arms, they kind of break their AI cycle on how they're supposed to attack. There we go. Ah, dang it. Almost went almost went through it. Uh, damage lit. Or, no hit. Cool. No, uh, no, uh, no pun intended because you're an ice enemy, but cool. Uh, how did you miss me? A question I must ask. How did you miss me? Yep. Okay, with that done, I think we just literally have to run up here and talk to Zora Captain and the mission's over. Yep. That, yeah, that was actually pretty quick. Even so, man, can't show it off. I mean, I could definitely just extend the video out a little bit and show it off. 
you know what? I'm tired of complaining about it. Today's, today's video is going to go a little longer because I'm going to show this off. Dan be the consequences. Oh no, the consequences of my actions. That was an attack speed up. I just saw it. Hold on. We might break away and give attack speed up to Link's uh, Master Sweet. Although I would say, like, for the Master Sword, possibly range... If you're going to play like I play, where you span the same combo that has that big wide AoE, maybe range up might help if you're going for more AoE approaches to everything. But because I'm going for... Because I'm going the way I am going with the Master Sword, I want the uh, attack rate up. Oh, that was it. That was it. Attack speed up, rather. And now we can just throw other things at it to make it stronger. There we go. Oh, I feel better about being able to grind it out. Actually, wait, did one of those long swords have fusion rate? Fusion? Oh, one of them did have fusion up. No. I should have used this. Well, there's no such thing as too late, right? Anyway. Anyway, now that I've done that, let's... I'm going to do one of these. I'm going to kind of scope out names. You know what? Actually, this works. It's low level, so I can go through it really quick. So I'm only going to show off one of these. But, hey, secret animation! <laughs> that happens every now and again when you go off to a story mission or one of these EX missions like this that require you to, like, hang glider to the mission. Occasionally, Link will fly off with the Cuckoo. So, I'm going to take it... But yeah, because we're so over leveled for this mission, I'm going to take a minute to do it. Just so we can get this done out of the way and I can stop complaining about the fact that I can't do it. But also to show you the reason why I'm going to be grinding it. And also to show you what to expect if you're going to do this. And I will probably, if I get the time, I will probably spend some time just to grind up a whole lot of these. Just so I can get the reward I need to, for the uh, Ancient Secret Lab. Now they're usually short-ish missions. Like two objectives at most on the mission. But the thing you fight at the end is a very unique... Oh boy, that was awesome. The thing you fight at the end is... Oh, oh, whoops, wrong one. The thing you fight at the very end of these missions... It, the things you fight at the end of these missions are unique to these missions alone. Ow. Hey, how did you unfreeze so fast, by the way? Nah, I'm breaking you. You broke me, I broke you. Yeah. So these. Or I guess not these. Okay, I tried to dodge. Okay, I should say two or three. Hey, Bodor. Funny weapon go haha. -ha. Hold on. Hold that thought for a minute, fellas. There we go. Break you. And I don't think it took care of both of them. No, it didn't. There we go. Let's take care of that. And that's what we're after. So there's usually a some kind of large enemy. It's either a, a, mo a specific Moblin, a Lionel, or unique to this is a Choo Choo. And also you want to read the title of these because that will kind of indicate what their boon is that makes them so dangerous. For this one, it's the fact that it is has horrendously high attack stat. One of them could be unbreaking defenses. One could be something like, uh... Oh gosh. One of them could be that they have unbreaking defenses, meaning that they're, uh... Sorry, I'm trying to, like, think and think about this in time. Uh, unbreaking defense would mean their hexagon gauge, or their, their uh, weak point gauge does not break for any reason. Yeah, the weak point gauge just does not break. A uh, health advocate means they have, like, a lot of health. Yeah, they're weak. Uh, they have means they have a lot of health. Or stronger than strong means they have this going on. Like, they basically come with more defense, more offense, or more health. Oh, we're done. They also spawn adds. 
which the ads don't really add into the collectible that I'm aiming for. But as the mission goes, as you fight the key monster or monsters at the end of these, they will spawn additional monsters, which are meant to make things a little bit harder on you. But the actually that's a lot of weapons. But the thing we're after, we, I came in here and came after, and why I want to grind this is this: this these vicious monster reports. The only way you can get them is by doing these EX alerts that pop up on the map. That's the only way you can get these. So, in between recording sessions, I may take some time to do those. I may record it and I may record it and like speed it up and show a bunch of those, but I'm not going to focus on those unless I need to like fill in some time going forward. Much like I planned with with them in the first place. If I need to fill time between missions, I will use them. But if I don't need to, I'm not going to worry about it. And of course, something popped up at the end of that. Playing Kuko. Well, let's get combos for Daruk. Hmm. Almost there, buddy. But now that we finished the one, I think we can... Yep. We can use, I'm going to do this one just to get, just to use the thing that we grinded up so we can, so we can get access to more quests and also more inventory slots so the dang robot will stop popping up. The robot will never stop popping up, by the way. Now, I'm pretty sure I cannot clear either of these because I need a lot of vicious monster reports. I need vicious monster reports to get more weapon capacity. And I think I needed, yeah, I need something. I need springs for this, which you won't get. We won't get access to this one for some time. Don't worry. If you can't do anything right now, don't feel too bad. It's not going to... This is stuff that's like kind of tool to be done during the game, but also tool to be done like in the mid to late game. Anyway, with all that done, everyone, I do want to thank you all so much for watching this episode of Higher Warriors Age of Calamity, where it kind of became a gong show of sorts. Next time, we're going to go somewhere. I'll see you folks then. Take care.